Would you ever buy a fake fiddle leaf fig tree? Today, we're gonna talk about when faux might be the way to go. Hey guys, it's Claire Aiken, the Fiddle Leaf Fig Girl, and a couple weeks ago I posted a video about why you may want to think about getting a faux Fiddle Leaf Fig tree. I was really surprised because it ended up being super controversial, which I think is good. I like that you guys have so much passion around plants, and I also thought it was kind of interesting that some people are completely fine with fake plants, some people would never buy one, and then some people, which I really like, have real plants and then fake plants kind of interspersed. And I think that makes a lot of sense because the way that our homes are set up and the light that comes into our homes are kind of arbitrary. You know, you may have a corner that's empty that's begging for a plant, but it happens to get no sunlight. And so it doesn't really make sense to say, I'm never gonna put a fake plant in my house when you can't put a real plant in a corner that aesthetically could use one. Um, and so I think there's a lot of reasons why it does make sense to get a fake fiddle leaf fig tree. And I'll talk about some of those today. And then I'm gonna walk you through my my top fiddle leaf fig trees and what to look out for if you were going to buy a fake one. Okay, so the first reason that I would buy a fake tree is if I have a corner that just doesn't make sense, there's not enough light and a real one can't exist there. I also have an office that has no natural light and so it is just like an interior office with no lights. Yes, I could use a grow light, but it's an office and I'm not really interested in growing plants there. I just get in, get out and get my work done. And so that is a great time to purchase a fake tree and just put it in there. So you still get the aesthetic, you still get the appreciation of the tree, but you don't actually have to take care of it or deal with grow lights or dropping leaves, etc. I think it's the same way that, you know, maybe I can't afford a piece of, uh, you know, authentic artwork, but I really like the artist. I think it's totally fine to get a replica if, if that makes you happy and that's what you enjoy in your home. You know, maybe I love the ocean, but I can't live right next to the ocean so i have a photograph of the beach you know i think it's totally fine to take the things from nature that we love and bring them into our home even if it is a replica of sorts if that makes sense okay a second really important reason i think that it's totally justified to buy a fake tree is if you have a home where it's either a vacation home or you travel a lot and so we have kind of a family home in the mountains where Nobody goes up there except maybe once a month. And so it gets very, very cold and very, very dry. While there's a lot of light, a fiddle leaf fig is just not gonna be happy or even survive those conditions. It's way too dry, way too cold. Anytime we would go up there, there would be dropping leaves and it would just be torturing this poor plant. And so I think in that case, a fake plant makes a lot of sense. And if you travel a lot and you're not home all the time, and you feel like you don't want to abuse your poor plant, then I think it's totally legitimate to just get a fake one. Okay, so the third reason that I would really recommend getting a fake plant is if you have kids or pets that are going to get into your plants. So first of all, it makes a huge mess. My kids, uh, you know, once a month or so go through and dig all the dirt out of our indoor plants and it drives me bananas. <laughs> they go on double time out um, when they do that. But I think that if you have a kid that is prone to maybe even ingesting a plant or a dog or a cat, um, you know, fiddle leaf figs can be slightly toxic. And I have a whole video about the type of uh, toxins in a fiddle leaf fig. So if you want to watch that, it goes deep into that. So if you have a kid or a pet that you cannot depend on not to consume your plant, I definitely would recommend a fake fiddle leaf fig. And so I think there's a lot of reasons. So now we've talked about kind of why you might get a fake little fiddly fig, let's talk about the best ones that I recommend. So I ordered three of them, three of the top rated ones on Amazon. I know that World Market also has really good fiddly figs. So we will recommend all the ones that I've seen that look great, that have really good reviews. I ordered three, but one of them never even came. So I'm not gonna re recommend that one. I had to get a refund. And so I got a little one and a big one. So this is the big one and this is the little one. And this is how they come is in these small boxes boxes, um, kind of skinny boxes. And then when you take them out, it's like a fake Christmas tree where you kind of shape them and try to make them look more natural. So I'll break them out of the boxes now. This is a small one and then this is the, the big one. Okay, so here they are. And I'm not saying that these completely pass for real trees. They don't. I mean, obviously, if you have a real tree, you'll be able to tell the difference. But honestly, this one is pretty good. Um, I will say, the thing that looks the least real for these faux fiddle leaf fig trees is the bottom of the leaves. And so when you take them out, you just kind of shape them down um, and you're gonna wanna shape it like if you've ever had a fake Christmas tree, you know, you spend some time kind of fluffing it and making it look more natural. So that's what you're gonna wanna do with these plants. And this one, you know, is pretty pliable. And so you'll wanna just shape it down so it looks kind of more normal. 
Um, but if you take a look at kind of the design of the actual leaves, I think they've done a good job here because you can see that the newer leaves are actually lighter than the older leaves, which is true with a real fiddle leaf fig. And you can see from the top of the plant, they even have this little growth bud that looks a lot like a real growth bud. I think they've done a pretty good job with this one. And so I will link to this one below. It was super inexpensive, um, very affordable, much cheaper than a real plant of this size. And so I think it's a good option if you're trying to save money or if you wanna, you know, just get a quick plant into your office. Um, so I think they've done a pretty good job with this one. This one looks a little less real to me. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is that um, the trunk has, you know, a couple of different trunks. And so I think the trunk looks a little more realistic than the other one. Um, you can see some real trees behind me. They typically, you know, have multiple trunks kind of branching out depending on your tree. And so we'll just kind of try to shape this one. I think that um, this one isn't quite as good quality, but it is very big. And for the price, I think it's a really good price point. I believe it was maybe a, a less than a hundred dollars. I want to say I'll link to it below so you can see, but I'll say for all of the fake plants in general, especially fake fiddly fig trees, the thing that makes them look fake is typically the base is a little too small. So it's smaller than what you would see on a normal plant, especially for the big ones. Like this one is this big tree and it has this tiny, tiny pot. And so this is what makes it look fake. The other thing is the dirt always looks a little bit fake. Um, and then the trunk itself, you know, I think they did an okay job with this one, but it's just not going to look exactly like a real fiddly fake tree. Um, so one of my tips to make it look more real is to put it in a larger container or a larger basket. And so what you could do is you could raise it up a little bit, put it in a basket, and we'll link to some of our baskets below. And it will look a little bit more, um, I guess, stable with a bigger base and a little more natural and believable. And so I think that's a good option to make it look a little bit more real um, if you put it in a little basket and just give a better aesthetic in general. So let's talk about the care for a fake fiddly fig tree. So with a real tree, you have to make sure it's getting enough light. You have to make sure not to over or underwater. You have to fertilize it. You have to clean off the leaves. There's a lot, right? But with these, these faux trees, really all you need to do is watch out for dust. And so the way that you would clean this is, you know, maybe you would blow it off if you have a little blower. Maybe you could vacuum it off if you have a soft brush on your vacuum. And then every once in a while you're probably going to want to take it outside and um, just kind of hose it off and get all of the dust off. Plants in general, especially fake plants, really kind of collect dust and so that is going to be the key to making this look clean and beautiful and green and gorgeous the same way as you know a real plant and so I will say that these are definitely easier to care for than a real plant and I think that is a huge selling point. They are also cheaper and so you know, if you're looking to save money and you want to make sure that it's going to last, I definitely would say go with a faux plant. I think that, you know, it's definitely a great option to buy these fake plants. We'll link to some of the other ones that um, are at World Market and some other places. Just watch how much you're going to spend on these. You know, even if you get a really good one, it's not going to last forever. It'll last, you know, a couple years before it just, you know, is going to get dusty or that some of the things are going to break or it's going to get a little bit beat up. And so I wouldn't go crazy and spend a ton of money. I would rather just get a good quality one and then maybe think about replacing it later, um, especially if you're going to move or, you know, if you may not be in your same location forever. So here are the fluffed plants. You can see that this one looks a little more plastic, a little less real, but this one is really amazing. Um, I will say for both of these, the thing that makes them not look real is there are no imperfections. So if you take a look at a real fiddly fig tree, you know, you're gonna have some edges that are rough. You're gonna have maybe some brown spots, maybe some leaves missing uh, where they've dropped. So the lack of imperfection really makes these look a little bit too perfect. So maybe you could tell that they were fake, but I think that it's a totally good option if it makes you happy and if it makes your home feel nicer to you. Let me know in the comments if you would ever buy a fake plant and how you feel about that controversy. And I hope these tips were helpful. I will link all the plants that we recommend below this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe or give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.